All right, everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I want to show you guys my second method of winter protection for our fig trees. Um, we've done a lot of videos now on the cut and cover method. This I don't really have a name for, but it's pretty similar to the cut and cover method in that we're basically cutting our tree back to a desired height, and then we are protecting that. So with this method here, we get ourselves some chicken wire from a hardware store, it's very cheap. And then we stick a stake in the ground and that really keeps the chicken wire not from going anywhere and it forms a ring, right? That's what we're trying to do is form a ring, a cage. We're gonna have figs that are gonna cage fight later, but uh, we fill in the cage with mulch or an insulative material. This mulch is going to keep our fig trees warm and insulated throughout the entirety of the winter time. I've done this now for a couple years, three years now, I think, to be exact. I have learned in year two of doing this that we really have to be careful with what materials we use to insulate this. If you can see in here, I have like big pieces. This is big bark, logs, big wood chips. You know, this is um, from a tree that was delivered here. This isn't the stuff that you might find in stores that's bagged, although the stuff in stores will, in, that's bagged will work well too, but it's big pieces, right? And that big pieces combined with the, the sides of the chicken wire, how there's a lot of airflow through here, this is really gonna help keep the bark from rotting. We don't want the bark to rot, and that's a big reason why a lot of people say, and you'll see this with this tree over here, is that a lot of tree guys don't recommend you pile up the mulch too high. If you do that, you kill the bark, you kill the tree. It's the same thing over here with this particular method here is that we're surrounding the bark with wood chips, but because these wood chips are big pieces, it's not a huge deal. And that way there's a lot of airflow. You're gonna have a lot of chance for this to dry out in between periods of high rain and uh, you guys will be all right. I want to show you very quickly though, the cut and cover method and the, the difference here because there's really only one difference in the methodology of this because with the cut and cover method, we're very simply covering the straw or the mulch. By covering that straw, you're letting, you're preventing that rain from coming in which is then going to prevent the bark from rotting, right? So that's really a, a well thought out process here, well thought out difference that you guys should pay attention to. Uh, I would not recommend using straw for the method that we just showed you guys. You can use straw in this method just simply because there's a tarp over top and that that straw is going to remain dry or or moist. It's not going to be wet all winter time, slowly rotting the bark off of our trees. And then when we uncover them, they're dead. So I want to thank you guys here for watching. It was pre it's a pretty simple method, isn't it? Um, I know a lot of people do this with leaves. You could do this with leaves, wood chips. Don't do it with, with straw. That's really the big thing there. People also do this method for for worms, they actually create these like areas of, uh, of mulch for worms and they put worms in there and then the worms actually eat all that, those leaves and then create castings. And uh, it's actually a kind of a good method. It's kind of like putting together your compost, right? Getting a, a ring and then filling it in with composted materials to eventually form compost. So I don't think it's that difficult. It's really simple, it's very effective um, so yeah, don't have a name for it, but that's the other method here. If you guys enjoyed this one, subscribe. Um, also we have a lot of cuttings available for sale on FigBid. This is the time of the year. Everybody's been asking me, uh, this is it, right? Um, what I would recommend, uh, or I also want to mention is that we have everything mostly available for buy it now prices. Very few of it is for auction. Um, I'm also offering a promotional code, promotional code Ross. Message me on FigBid before you purchase the cuttings. Message me 
the code ROSS and you will get 10% off your order. Before you pay, I have to adjust the invoice and then you can pay after I have adjusted it. And um, yeah, we have pretty much every variety that we're gonna have available this year available. Um, so there's nothing new that's gonna be added. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for all the support. I hope you guys learned something with this video. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and figboss.com. All of that is in the description of this video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, everybody.